Hello everyone, this is Ohio Dan. In this video I'm going to talk about something that may tick people off to some extent or it may be something that's seen as controversial within the men's community, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it anyway. I've decided that it's something that's worth discussing. And that is the troubling trend of the increase in the influence of the male dominance hierarchy within the men's community. And in fact, I would say that this is one of the ways that the community now seems to be in decline. It's not the overall reason for the decline, and I'm not going to talk about that too much in this video. I think the men's community is in decline primarily because of the things that have been encouraged, right? Rather than men actually talking about their issues and actually trying to help each other, PUA rhetoric, different strategies for getting women, different strategies for finding the trad wife. A lot of this has been deliberately promoted over stuff like men's issues or men going their own way because the last thing that those that have power, those that have control over society want is for men to walk away from the system. And so these other things have been promoted instead. And I, I still believe that that's the main reason for the decline in the men's community. Maybe you could argue that it's more of a natural thing as well over time. Things just kind of go through a golden age, so to speak, and then decline after a period of time. But one of the things that I've been seeing that really disturbs me the most is that the male dominance hierarchy seems to actually be merging with the men's community at this point. And it's true that, to some extent, men will always have a tendency to want to prove that they're better than other men, to show that they're more masculine, to show that they're more capable, to show that they're superior somehow to other men. And that's not a good thing, but that is a part of male nature. And it's regardless of whether that's legit or whether there's any justifiable purpose behind that, that's just part of kind of our nature as men because we do have the tendency to compete with one another for whatever reason, to show that we're better for women or to show that we're better for society or we have a dominant place within society, that is something that probably, unfortunately, will always be part of the male psyche. But it used to be that this was not something that was accepted within the men's community. In the past, the men's community was a place of some refuge against the judgments of society. And most people content creators, people that were involved in discussions and conversations within the manosphere were aware of the unnecessary conflicts that would arise from applying the male dominance hierarchy to our causes here when it comes to talking about men's issues, when it comes to talking about what options are reasonably available to men today. It used to be that we would say, wait a second, we don't want people to show that they're better than other men or they have more money or they are more masculine and have all these traits and qualities and they've accomplished this and that and you haven't, that is part of the blue pill world, right? That is part of the dominance hierarchy, which just very briefly is the attempt to show that you are a stronger or better man than some other man or that you're on top of the hierarchy because you've succeeded at something or you've managed to make a certain amount of money or get your life into a certain position it used to be that we would recognize that that was stuff that was too often used to bring other men down, and we would reject the idea of arguing things based on, I'm above you in the male dominance hierarchy. I have more. I'm better. I'm superior. Look at me. I'm the masculine alpha male, and you're just a beta, and therefore you need to shut up and just listen to whatever I have to say. It used to be that that was rejected within the men's community from what I remember in the past at least. Generally speaking, that was something that was not tolerated or was frowned upon a great deal. Now it seems that posturing and proving one's superiority as a man compared to others is a common occurrence within the men's community, that it is not looked down upon as much, that it is shunned by some. There's some resistance to this when I've seen it go on. But in a lot of cases, it's actually supported. In a lot of cases, it's actually encouraged. And other men will get behind these men and say, yeah, we're better. You're better than this other guy. You have a better message and you are superior. And so this other guy just needs to not have a voice. This other guy 
needs to basically not be allowed to make content or needs to be seen as less than you because you're far superior. This seems to be something that is actually given a pass and even supported within the men's community at times. And the saddest aspect about this is that we should have enough awareness of our nature as men to avoid this outcome, right? One of the advantages that we have in being red-pilled, so to speak, or self-aware is that we're aware of male and female nature and the differences between men and women and the positive and potentially negative aspects of both male and female nature. We probably spend too much time talking about female nature compared to the pitfalls of male nature. And this egoism and this desire to be on top of the male dominance hierarchy and to be above everybody else or most other men, that is one of the negative things that you want to be aware of when it comes to male nature. A man's ego can completely destroy him if he's obsessed with proving how much he's better than other men in any sort of given environment. That kind of thing is something that is toxic and is something that we should be aware of enough ourselves as men to reject. And I think we've lost our way when it comes to that. I think that many people within the men's community do not reject that anymore. They want to see it as somehow a positive or at least an acceptable thing when men just try to compare pretty much where they're at in the dominance hierarchy instead of actually trying to help other men within the community. And this has become something I've seen more and more often over the last few years. In my opinion, as the manosphere is seemingly in a state of decline now, we apparently no longer have the ability to call this out collectively when it happens. We no longer have the consensus that I think we used to have when men would act this way, when men would try to use their position in the community to just, just bring down other men and to essentially have no positive message whatsoever to actually try to help men out and to try to say, well, maybe I'm doing better than these other men, but I'm going to try to lift these men up. I'm not going to make this about myself and my own ego and my own standing within the community. I'm actually going to use the position I'm in to try to help other men. That is something that we used to realize was a better choice within this community. Even though there were egos that would get involved in certain conflicts at times, this overall consensus, I think, that it was far more desirable to help other men than it was to try to run men down the same way that we do in the blue pill world, more or less. The same way that we have men competing with each other and trying to tear each other down outside of the community. It used to be that we had enough familiarity with these issues to not want to act in a way that damaged other men just so that you could be elevated and you could feed your ego, basically. That kind of thing used to be frowned upon, and now it actually seems to be accepted in a lot of cases by several people that I've seen within the community recently. So in my opinion, those men who use the men's community primarily as a platform to supposedly prove themselves better than other men within the community, these men should be avoided as much as possible as they disregard the core principle of what we're supposed to be about in the first place, which is helping to build men up instead of trying to tear them down like the rest of society already does, right? You're really no different than any other man in society that is acting based on ego and acting based on trying to prove that you're better than other men when you do this within the community. Being so-called red pill or MGTOW or talking about men's issues, that does nothing to change the situation if you're doing the same thing that men that are not self-aware are doing by just basically playing this game where you're supposed to be the top dog all the time and everything is just about you. If that's what is going on with a particular content creator or someone that's having discussions within the community that's that way, really these men should be shunned. They should be isolated. They should be blackballed. And it saddens me that it's not seen that way in the community anymore. Maybe to an extent it never was that way. Maybe I'm making it sound like 10 years ago things were more different than how they are now, but I think that things are quite a bit worse. I think that we no longer call this behavior out and isolate and shun and blackball the men 
that are just about themselves and are just trying to trash other men that they don't like in the community, instead of doing anything helpful or anything that could possibly be positive to the men that may run into our content or the men that are active parts of this community. Instead, it's just you have to kiss the ring and toe the line and talk about how great I am or you're my enemy. If you criticize me for anything, I'm going to ban you. Something like that is a more common, frequently occurring thing than it was back in the days of Barbarossa and Stardust, in my opinion. And just to give an example, this is a little bit of a different topic matter. Not so much about ego, but just about how there used to be an ability to reach a consensus. I remember a content creator, I don't think he's around anymore at all, named Rocking Mr. E. And Rocking Mr. E was basically a traditional conservative, and he would talk about men's issues. And he was seen as being a traditional conservative that talked about men's issues. He would say things like, men still need to just find the right women. I understand going your own way for a period of time, but that's only temporary. You need to find a good woman and stop blaming women for all of your faults and realize that there are still good women out there and all the nonsense that you hear typically from the traditional conservative perspective. And that's a little bit different from acting just based on ego, but it was still, from what I remember at least, about, well, men that don't do this are losers. Men that just totally walk away and never want to date women again, they're just inferior. We're better than those men, right? The dominance hierarchy, in other words. And I remember around that time in the mid-20-teens, and this is when I first discovered the men's community more or less, Men were getting contentious with this. They were saying, no, there is no reason for men to get married. There is no reason for men to take this seriously. We have nothing to prove to you. If you want to say that you're a better man because you've managed to have a wife and kids, you're the one that's put yourself in that situation. That's your choice to make. But you're not superior to us. You need to stop talking down on the men that choose not to do this. You need to stop talking down on men that probably are making better choices for themselves by not having a contract with the state and so forth. And I remember how collectively, almost across the board from the people that I was listening to at the time, these ideas by rocking Mr. E were pretty much rejected. And again, I'm not trying to bash him or some of the other content that he was making that wasn't so inaccurate. Some of the better content that he was making at the time, potentially, but I remember how the community basically stood against that and said, no, you will not shame men for choosing to walk away from a rigged system. You will not shame men by saying that they're inferior because they don't choose to try to find the right woman, so to speak. We see that this is BS. We see that you don't actually have an argument to defend the idea that men should opt into this sort of arrangement we're going to call this out. Now, even though what I'm considering here is more of purely just an ego-based thing, it's not so much saying, I disagree with you on this one point, although there have been issues such as race and whatnot that have been discussed specifically to some degree, but now it doesn't seem like we have that ability anymore. Now it's just anything goes, and if you want to talk about how you're better than this other guy, my way of going my own way is superior to yours, and you're less of a man than I am. This kind of thing seems to be accepted, where there's this comparison of which man going his own way is doing it better, as if you're in control of your genetics and your capabilities and the situation that you were born into, as Stardust talks about still, where you know a lot of it is rigged, a lot of it is about your starting position and your genes. But even putting that to the side, you're not helping other men if you're talking about how you're better than them all the time and how you're essentially a god within the community and how you're superior to so many other people in the community. And it's the people that you don't like that's to blame for that. And so you're better than they are. It's sad to me that we can't collectively turn our back against the men that come out and make these kinds of claims. Not because it's a matter of going to war against these kinds of men, but because it's completely antithetical to what the men's community is supposed to stand for and trying to bring men up instead of knocking them down, instead of trying to damage them and prove how you're better than them. This is the kind of stuff that should remain part of the blue pill world. 
It shouldn't be part of the men's community. And yet it is more and more often. The overall conclusion, guys, the main point that I want to make more than anything is to watch out for this. Recognize when a man within the community here, within the men's community online, is acting based on ego. Recognize when he's just trying to use his platform to attack other men. Recognize and consider that these kinds of men really are not helpful. The male dominance hierarchy and trying to prove that you're better than other men and you're superior because you've done this and that and you have this amount of money or you've managed to reach this goal in your life, the male dominance hierarchy in any of those senses ultimately has no positive role to play within the men's community. And the men who try to apply this concept that they're better than you because they're higher up on the hierarchy, they shouldn't be viewed as having a positive or worthwhile message, in my opinion. They should be shunned. They should be blackballed. And the fact that this community can't identify this and reject these kinds of messages is not a good sign, in my opinion. I know that there are those that still speak out and will talk in favor of rejecting this sort of thinking, but there is a lot of men that seem to support this now within the community of this dick measuring I'm better than you because I'm a superior man going his own way, even though that's not what it was ever supposed to be about. This is supposed to be a place where we could find a refuge from unfair criticism, from the dick measuring, from men trying to prove that they're better than everybody else. And it's become less and less of a refuge over the past few years because of a variety of forces. But again, you can just attribute this, I guess, to the general decline of the men's community. And I'm not going to get into what we could do about that. I don't think we can fix the problem, so to speak. But you can blackball these men. You can not talk to these men. You can essentially recognize what this is and how this is no different than what you get from the blue pill world at large. This is no different than men trying to tear each other down in the world as it is. This is no different than what you see in your gynocentric culture every day, where men will go after other men instead of standing together in solidarity and trying to help each other in a positive way. And so when you see this negativity, when you see men that are making it about themselves all the time and are just acting based on their ego and are talking about how their version of advocating for men's issues, going their own way, speaking about men's problems is superior because he is a superior man and you just need to shut up, and you're not allowed to have a different take on things because you're inferior, when you see that going on within the men's community, my conclusion, my understanding would be that these men should be rejected outright. That as long as they're going to continue to be that way, they don't really have a place here. And it's unfortunate that as a community, we can't reach that consensus when this happens, but you can still do that for yourself, of course, as individual men. You can look at this and reject it entirely as not being something that the men's community is supposed to be about and essentially turning your back on the men that try to use this community as a platform to aggrandize themselves and talk about how they're better than so many of the other men here and they're superior to you and you just need to listen to what they say because they have a better version of what you're supposed to do. That kind of thing should be rejected outright. And whether the community as a whole does that or not, as individual men, I think we should continue to reject that because that's not a healthy, positive, or worthwhile message. That is just toxic content that's based on egoism. And it's something that we should not embrace within this community or see as something that's acceptable in any way other than People can talk about what they want to talk about, but it's not something that really is going to help men, and it should be rejected on that basis instead of something that men try to use to bring down other men within this community. Those in the men's community that try to use their channels or their content as a platform to tear down other men and to act based on the dominance hierarchy that is part of the blue pill way of thinking, those men honestly should not be taken seriously and should be rejected in terms of having a place of good intention and of actually wanting to help men. They should be seen as what they are and they should be blackballed for that reason. They should not be 
taken seriously as a voice in the community if all they're trying to do is bring down other men all the time and talk about how much better they are than other men. They should be rejected on that basis. And as long as that's their message, they should be seen as toxic and they should be avoided.